wrote it down somewhere, and, and someone got a hold of it. Oh, somebody definitely wrote it down. And I got a good idea who. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real. He knows! Is there any way from the not know? <laughs> All right. We got a decision to make. As much as I wanna step on his bitch ass fingers and give him the Lion King, you know what I mean? Long live the king. We have to take some stuff into consideration. Number one, I don't trust the dads that they try to set us up a little bit by revealing that he was adopted. You know what I mean? To get your emotions wrapped up into this, this decision. That's number one. Number two, I don't know if he's gonna die or just get fucked up. Now, that's gonna make stuff harder for our mom. Is she gonna have to leave him behind? Behind? <laughs> behind? Like there's a lot going on. I know y'all want me to just pick, but we only got one choice. I do want to. I do want to step on his fingers or whatever we're about to do. I'll be honest with you. That shit would be. I'm telling you, I I, I might be so satisfied. It's kind of like when we let AOGs. Hey, Remember we let Ben die on The Walking Dead, bro. That was so like therapeutic, bro. We could have one of those moments right now. I don't know. We step on his fingers, he don't die, and he just gets fucked up, man. I don't know. The cops, he might tell on us. And lastly, he could have killed us. He could have shot and killed us climbing up the tree. So. And they give you plenty of time to make it. This is the only two options. Um. I know y'all want to see this. I did too. If we die, I'm going to be sick. How the hell do you climb so fast? I don't look down. Look, Jay. It's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Okay. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? Like you said, cops won't expect it. Then good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you. Thanks for the sound advice. <sighs> All right. Yeah, no, I don't want to hear that. I don't, listen, delete your comment. I don't want to hear that shit. Why didn't let him live? Mom wasn't around. I'd have probably stuck on his fingers, though. But they're trying to escape together. I don't know what position that puts her in. You know what I mean? If, if he, if she got a, oh, that was right at the end of the chapter. If she got to um, take care of a, or try to help person who's now severely injured family values kind I mean that's pretty consistent with how I've been playing community choices oh y'all want to see this we never even look at these 80% of the people became a fugitive very few people saved Tyler what that tells me is if you watch anybody else play this game you've already seen what happens if he gets his finger stomped they get to see the other one from me. Climb the tree. I mean, most of these, I'm pretty in the majority for most of these, except these two. Maybe he dies in other people's series. I don't know. What else we got? That's about the birth mom. Who wouldn't? 
Uh, we convinced them. Oh, you can have an outcome where you don't. Wow. We escaped the cabin. I guess some people got unlucky and put them in the uh, the closet. By the way, being in the majority is not necessarily better. That just means that's what people pick based off of the game. It's not, you know, it's not a game over if you lose on here. Let's go to chapter five. Y'all ready? I'm ready. If I have time, I'll finish it today. If I don't, I won't. And I'm sure y'all would love that. And then we can move on to the next game. I have some really great games to play for y'all. Y'all should be excited. I'll never tell y'all what it is though. Not this time. May 30th, 1998. What happened to his leg injury? He's just walking around like it's nothing. I didn't even see the leg injury on his leg. He really died! That's tough. I wonder if we would have let him out the car with Jay, he would have survived. He wouldn't have been in the car for the accident, but I don't know what happens after that. We're ready for Kissy Easy. I know they see me on the TV. Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Let's get a water. Please, can I have some water? <clears throat> you want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I wouldn't. Ain't nothing, man. I'm just, you know, just traveling. There's not a hidden option. Definitely not going to hit this one. I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. He's not going to believe. He's not going to believe. left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. <sighs> what if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Um, yeah, what happened to all the money that we stole? 27. Your turn. Right, oh, yeah, okay, this is... I do this, brother. Watch out, man. Uh, you can't lose on this. All right. Mm, not bad. I thought I was gonna get it right in the I middle. Before. Ready for round two? Well. You better hope that TV don't come on. Forty-seven.
they could have made this into a real mini game, like when we really try, you know what I'm saying? What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> that music sounds copywritten as hell in the back, too. Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Light. Did I win? Yes, sir. Shark and me. Nah. I got no patience for sharks. <sighs> he smiled big as hell. Oh. <sighs> Is that joy to it? Oh, that's the cop. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18 year olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Ah, oh, he's a stand up Have you guy. Seen him or not, his people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. <laughs> this one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about <laughs> you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. And Kyle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. I didn't say I did. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. What motivated them to do that? What motivated... Yo! I ain't gonna block my blessings, but why? Hey. Got a name, bro? Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? Yeah, man, I did it, bruh. There's another option. Yeah, I ain't gonna, you know. So what if I did? <sighs> he's, feeling. he's smiling? Summer of 87. A buddy and I rob a grocery store up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. Don't tell me my goddamn camera froze. Oh my God, hold up. He, uh, he wasn't so lucky. Come on, let's get you north. Okay. Great writing on this game, by the way. Not really leaving a whole bunch of plot holes and stuff like that. Some movies, TV shows, or games wouldn't have even explained why that trucker just helped us. They'd have just let him help us. My camera was only frozen for about three minutes. We should be good. Thanks again for the ride. Word to the wise. Hey, Lo. Call a friend if you got one.
Did it say what city we were in? Where are we now? On the hunt for an 18 year old male. Oh, shit. Multiple murders at the Desert Dream Motel in Arizona. According to inside sources, the district attorney intends to pursue the death penalty. Police, be advised, the police are extremely dangerous. Where's that black book? Does mom have it? We don't have it. Did Vince have it? Who? Oh, did the cop take the book? I don't remember. We haven't played in a couple weeks. I don't, I don't, I forgot where the book is. Assistance. I, I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my God. Uh, yes, I accept. I, I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? She hasn't seen the news by now. I mean, she's going to figure it out. I had this argument with my brother. We didn't lie. Well, it don't matter. But I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to. No, it's too late. I'm on my own now. I've got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. She need her motherfucking ass whooped. Dad, your razor, you, you, you brought her up the wrong way. Look at her, idiot, man. Look at this foolishness. She don't even know him, man. Am I going to Utah? I might as well use that to my advantage, bro. Holy shit. You're awesome. Seriously. <laughs> That's what they tell me. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. Eventually, we're going to have to tell her what's going on because she's going to find out anyway. I didn't get an um, indicator about our um, outcome based off of us telling her we were wondering about the cops versus family problems. So I don't know if that made a difference, but y'all can plan and then find out for yourselves. Look at that big fat back ass TV back there. He looked like a cat person, bro. Probably gonna regret this. But right now, you're all I need. I know, Marlon. Two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. little Marlin, man. What's got you so... <sighs> Hello? Who, who's there? That's 
what you grabbed as a weapon. Am I in their sleep? No! Oh, God. Sharon. S -s sorry, sorry. You, you can... Uh... Jesus. I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> Bike blew a tire, the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. I'm telling you. Wait, Paul. No, no, we're not going to aid in the bet you. You're a criminal. I'm not going to jail for that shit. She made herself real at home. She took her pants off. <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. <sighs> what we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. I like his attitude. Hard on hoes. When, when need be. You know what I mean? When need be. I don't give a damn where you go. Don't ask me. The, the less I know, the better. <sighs> Please. I've run out of options. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. You shouldn't have told her that. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. I don't give a fuck! Hard on hoes, man. It's always the same with you. Give Paul a sob story till you get what you want. Well, I'm done. Sob story? You think I do this to myself? Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? Oh, that damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is, but after what he saw them do to Dale, my beautiful Dale, he'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. <laughs> Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast to coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? I don't go poking around in other people's lives, and neither should you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon. Back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. 
stand on that shit. Stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Oh, no, 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 no. We not doing this. Uh-uh. Don't come in here now. See, this is what happens right here. You know what I mean? You make bad decisions, you end up in a pickle, and then you come over here. It ain't gonna happen tonight, bitch. Not today. Get up out of here, man. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about- You knew we were sinking, but coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was- I If I'd known what would- Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given- Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink, don't you? You <sighs> gonna ruin your life, man. I don't want that. We we clean and sober, baby. Get out of here, man. Every part of me is screaming yes, but if I taste one sip of that, Paul, I'm so sorry. That was I should have known better. Look. Nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. I don't know. She, she's, she's too cunning, bro. This is definitely a, a nice way for her to black. Or what? You're gonna tell the cops? No, I wouldn't betray a friend. I mean, sure, you could end up in jail because of all this, and so could I. But there's a way out for both of us. What do you mean, us? That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. I didn't tell you, I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't tell you could smoke in here. I didn't tell you you could smoke in here. You lighting, put the cigarette out. Now, come on, man. Now, now, come on, man. Why, why are you smoking? No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma, payback, call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be, but I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. I ain't gonna lie, like, hey, bros, this is blackmail, man. I'm picking reject on principle, but like, I hope. Man, I don't even know what, like, what do you even do here, bro? Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. <gasps> Expecting anyone? No. 
Hey, cuz, it's me. Open up. <sighs> Shit. It's Dante. Now, if we would have hit kiss, I don't know what would have happened. No! Come on! Fancy seeing you here. Does anyone know where you went? No, of course not. Who would I tell? I don't know. Your dad? <laughs> yeah, right. He's literally the last person I would tell. He thinks I'm in finals all day. Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> You might be the nicest person I ever met. And dumbest. I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. I said your mom. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just feel dead inside. Like... Maybe I don't even care. Of course you care. You're just hurt right now. How do you know? Because I've been there. Believe me. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you need to go to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Shit! <sighs> oh, man. What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? Well, you cuss! How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. Oh, no. Nah. Salt Lake City Hotel. It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it that? I mean, God, no. Ooh, I wasn't ready. <sighs> Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. <sighs> she bad as hell. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hurry! Whatever you say, Vanessa. You! And we're caught.
Why, why you jump? Why couldn't you just keep running down the steps? What the hell was the point of that? Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! Vanessa! Why you say it like that? We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Uh, Dale showed me once. It's like Kim Wexler and Jimmy McGill, but it's bad for each other. Different. But I think it's these ones. <laughs> when you super hard on your kids like that then it's so bugging up it absolutely is sir 911 what's your emergency you got a cell phone it's gonna sound crazy but i think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive and uh like, this is a crazy chapter so this whole game is nuts it started off so slow Damn, poor, poor Vince, man. I wanted to see what happens with him. He did, unfortunately, it just. All right, I mean, this sound like, this sound like, this sound like, hold on. Yeah, you ain't, not, you ain't got nothing. How we, how we. Oh. 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 I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, it... the volume because... All the way until this song's over and then we'll put it back up. Sorry guys, but y'all already know what time it is. They're gonna start muting videos and all that shit. Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car. And it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. How you know? How you know that? So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. Only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. <sighs> Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh -huh. you smoke out? Uh, a cigarette will, will disqualify you automatically. Are you serious? I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings. Smoke a little crack, smoke a little meth. What happened? Stole a car. Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad, he was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah.
Lewis care about you if he came all this way? No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? This? Steal a car? You know what we are? We're wrestlers. Like in the Old West. Horse thieves. I think you like history. Well, beats algebra. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But he'll help me. <laughs> All right. Taking the exit to Idaho. All right. Put that music back on now. Sorry for that. I said open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Well, uh, now I'm in the game now. Unfortunately, he's in the game. I'm, I'm busy. Take your time. Oh, wait. There's a bra. Not uh, the bra. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. How are you coming in? You got a key? Sorry. Hi. I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? That. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez, it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Damn, have some compassion, huh? Make, maybe make a little joke? A little joke? Probably rob a bank. <laughs> Cuz, you couldn't hold up traffic. Damn. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Oh, fuck. Goddamn bullet wound. <laughs> well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? No. no. I get it. Nah, get out of my house. I mean, can we? Let's go outside for a little walk. I first joined the department. Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Oh. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Uh -huh. And then there was the ashtray. Ashtray. 
the fresh cuz talking to you. you you knew I was in the motel that night did it even cross your mind to ask about me if you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage then frankly no I did not you uh sure you're okay you look a little jumpy there sorry wasn't expecting company he's horrible at this Oh, guess not. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about, uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? Oh, right then. Yeah, but, <clears throat> yeah. I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. His finger. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Getting shot in the shoulder. Electrocuted after death. And now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Yeah, I do my best by her, but... Guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? No, you smoke menthols? Uh, trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. I didn't know <clears throat> that we would only have the option of one thing. I thought we was going to be able to get the ashtray and the glasses I could have just probably got cash try didn't know say I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe it's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel right that's right yeah that's funny after those whole boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? Maybe you wrote it down somewhere and, and someone got a hold of it. Oh, somebody definitely wrote it down. And I got a good idea who. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real. He knows! Is there any way from the not know? For you. Where is she? I don't know, bro. Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, 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 she wanted money. I, I, I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then... She said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch. It was you. You gave her the call. No, listen, Dante, I, I, I can... I, Y'all next time.